Hey, I'm Leslie Marin and this is the rundown. Thousands of firefighters remain on scene at several Southland fires looking for potential hot spots that still remain. Now some evacuations have been lifted. You can get the latest details, including those evacuation orders at CBSLA.com. An unhealthy smoke advisory remains in place for the entire San Fernando Valley through tonight because of the ash and smoke coming over the region from the Saddle Ridge fire. The South Coast Air Quality Management District says anyone who can smell smoke or see ash should stay inside with the windows closed. Fire investigators were back in Silmar yesterday focusing on the Edison Power Tower as the possible ignition point of the Saddle Ridge fire. Several people who live nearby say they saw grass under the tower on fire Thursday night. Edison said it is committed to finding out what started that fire. And ESPN reports an Angels PR employee told federal investigators he provided pitcher Tyler Skaggs with oxycodone and team officials knew of Skaggs' drug use. Although in a statement, the Angels denied those claims, Skaggs was found dead at the team hotel in Texas on July 1st. A toxicology report said a mixture of alcohol, fentanyl and oxycodone were found in his system. Now here's meteorologist Alex Biston with a look at your forecast. Hi, Leslie. Lots of sunshine today across Southern California. Temperatures are going to be cooler as well. You can expect lower 70s along the coast, upper 70s for LA and Orange County Metro. As we head to the valleys, temperatures will top out in the lower 80s as well as the IE today. We will continue to see cooler temperatures into our Monday and then starting Tuesday, we will see a warming trend that will continue through the middle of the week. Then temperatures will cool by the end of the week and into the weekend. And remember, we're always streaming 24-7. You can find CBS at Los Angeles on CBSLA.com and the free CBS News app. I'm Lizzie Marine.